what is shaken internet this is salts bringing you some more how to take lfr for dummies this will be covering the second boss and his little area including his trash uh... let's see so this trash is a little bit more involved than the previous trash uh... they are coming in five packs so there's one in the middle that's the eye of goroth or whatever it is there's three flails of goroth and then there's a big claw of goroth Goroth or something like that. Um, what I generally do is the off tank goes over to um, the claw. The claw is the big, big one that you see. Uh, you don't see it now. You see it up there on the right. It's the only really big one. Um, I had the off tank go directly to that because if it's not tank, it starts throwing people around, and that's not good. So, so you definitely have to have somebody tanking it. Uh, pretty much the whole time is, is, is a good, the best idea. Um, the one in the middle, the eye, is the thing that we kill first, and that's probably the best way to do it, because you want to you want to have that thing uh, killed. I think it does random damage to players, I'm not 100% sure, but that's, that's the general accepted way to do it, is kill the, uh, the eye first. Uh, the flails are really easy to tank, they don't do a terrible amount of damage, but we, they're just slightly spread out, so what I do is I run around spamming all my AoEs and getting the attention of all of them and mark one of them after the eye's dead. Uh, as long as everybody's focusing on the eye, it's very easy to grab the threat on all the other all, all the flails at the same time, and maybe just keep a taunt on the eye. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I really think that this one's not terribly bad, because even if you don't tank it, uh, most of the time the healers can keep up. Um... Obviously, AOE healing is pretty good on that, at least at the very beginning. So, as you can see here, we go directly for the eye. That's the first one. I mark the eye. Or, somebody marks the eye. I actually mark the eye because I have the ability here. So, I mark the eye, and then I start uh, getting... I, I just hit all the flails one at a time. That seems to be the best way to do it. Because uh, if you just hit the flails enough, you will be given... Uh, you'll be get just a little enough threat to keep it off of everybody else. As you can see, I'm using all my mobility moves around here, just hitting them once or twice and then moving on to the next round, trying to keep uh, it off pretty much everybody. It's a little bit hard when nobody's focusing on anything, but what can you do? It's LFR. I see how most people are focusing on one thing, so I do keep switching back and forth trying to uh, get as much of this as possible, but the off tank is doing very well and just sitting there hitting the claw. Uh, this is how, how I mainly do it, is main tank goes to... So, sorry about that. There is actually a problem in the uh, in the video. I accidentally resized my WoW window. But either way, um, basically that's that's the premise. Uh, have the off tank tank the claw, uh, just taunt him, all that good stuff, and then have uh, the main tank run around, hit the flails as much as possible. DPS are going to focus down the uh, the eye, and then they switch to flails. And after the flails, then there you go. So this is what's going to happen. So uh, this is Warlord Zonaz. He uh, really only does... He only has like two or three mechanics, so we're going to go ahead and show it. Um, this one uh, is actually kind of cool. So, main tank is going to just tank him straight up. And as you can see, I'm going to watch this. Uh, the secondary tank is going to deal with this Void of the Unmaking. In, in uh, the full raid, you actually have to watch for this because uh, it does a significant amount of AoE damage. But what can happen in LFR is the secondary tank just runs around and literally just keeps hitting that Void of the... Uh, void of the... the what is that? Void of the Unmaking? Yeah, Void of the Unmaking. So the secondary tank just runs around and literally just hits it, keeps hitting it, until it gets to 10 stacks. Once it gets to 10 stacks, then the main boss will take it back in. Uh, as you can see here, I'm pretty much doing absolutely nothing. The main boss doesn't do anything special. He does some stuff, does some like drain, void diffusion, he does random things, but none of them do any anything special. Like, there's nothing that you have to do as a, as a tank. I'm literally sitting here, doing as much damage to the boss as possible, and all that good stuff. Now here, once it, it's the Void of the Unmaking is now at 10 stacks. So, the off tank has hit the thing 10 times. And now this is when you stack up. 
the screen goes black. Everybody should be stacking up. Uh, if you want, put a raid marker down. That's probably the best way to do it. And then everybody stacks on the raid marker. And uh, then AoE healing commences. As you can see, a ton of raid damage is going around all over the place. Um, but, you know, healers are just going to have to heal through it. You know, using Tranquility, AoEs, uh, just just whatever. Any, anything that you can think of, This is the that's the heavy healing phase. And as soon as it's done, you go back. Uh, I do want to say the only... The only difference is that you want the main tank wants to face the the uh, boss away from the rest of the group. As you can see, I'm doing here. I'm, well, he's facing away from the rest of the group because he does a cone damage in front of him. So that does quite a bit of damage. So, yes. so the, you definitely don't want that to hit the entire raid. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, this is really all there is to it. The reason that he's doing the 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 ping pong mechanic back there is the off tank can should do that. Now you don't have to do this, I've done it before where nobody's even touched the ball at all, it doesn't matter. But what's cool about it is if you get it up to 10 stacks and when the boss uh, goes into that black blood phase where he does all this significant AOE damage, he actually will take 10% more damage and then stacks. So now you see it's getting up to 10 stacks again and once more to the making gets to 10 again, he will take 20% extra damage. So really all it does is make the boss a lot faster. So I'm, I'm all for making it all a lot faster. People are putting... What are they doing? They're marking everything. But yes, so that's pretty much this boss. Uh, the trash is pretty straightforward. Kill eyes, kill flail, uh, kill claw. In that order. And the, uh, the boss, in LFR at least, you can literally just... Uh, one one tank face it away from the uh, face it away from the group, and you're pretty much done. Off tank, run around, hit the uh, Lord of the Unmaking until you get to 10 stacks, and then everybody stack up for AOE healing. That's it. That's the entire boss. There's nothing else. Uh, this this boss, and like I said, you don't actually have to do the ping pong mechanic. It just makes it a lot faster. I've done this boss several times without doing the ping pong mechanic at all, but getting that 10% 20% bonus damage is really nice. It's very nice. Yeah, there you go. Now I need to face it away. So yeah, that's that's pretty much this boss and everything that needs to happen in it. Um, as you can see, he's taking 20% damage, extra damage, and we're killing him a lot faster now. And that's pretty much it. There you go. He's getting down, he's getting down, and... Boom. There you go. So as you can see, he's dead. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this trash, and otherwise, uh, otherwise, you keep it salty, Internet, as always. <laughs>